want to show you how you can use Google Sheets to do a Monte Carlo simulation of retirement savings. Now in your usual intro finance class, you'll just calculate the future value and you'll assume that you get 10% every period. So it's a simple future value problem. You have a current amount of savings of 25000 and then you're going to have an annuity of 10000 a year that you're saving each year. And we can find the future value of this and add it to the future value of this annuity. And we get the total value at the end of your working career. So we're going to assume you work for 40 years. But this time, instead of you getting this 10% every time, we're going to assume an average return of 10% with a standard deviation of 12%. So sometimes you're going to get more than 10%, sometimes you're going to get less than 10%, and let's see how that works out. So the first thing we want to do is figure out the rate. So we want to take advantage of the fact that it has a mean of 10% and a, an average return, I'm sorry, a standard deviation of 12%. So we can use the norm INV function and what this is going to do is it's going to generate a variable that has you know a value using this mean and this standard deviation and this X here I don't know how well you can see it on the screen is a value between 0 and 1 you're supposed to put in a probability but you want that to change if you put in the same value each time you're going to get the same number each time so fortunately in in Google Sheets, as well as in Excel, there's a function called RAND, and it generates this uniform distribution between 0 and 1. And if you put open and then close parentheses, it'll just change the value. We're going to put in the mean, and the mean here is going to be 10%, and we're going to lock that cell by putting a dollar sign in front of the uh, 4. And then we want the standard deviation, which is 12%. Again, we want to lock that cell, because we're going to copy it down, and we're going to get some different values here. Now, we could auto-fill this, but uh, I'll tell you what, I'll just fill it myself by dragging and dropping this. For 40 periods and let me put this in percent terms so you can see sometimes you have negative return sometimes you have above 10 percent way above 10 percent way below 10 percent right etc etc now we want to find the future value each period so the future value is going to be equal to the current savings times 1 plus the interest rate that period. And then we're going to assume that your deposit is made at the end of the period. So it's an ordinary annuity. And so we're just going to add that in. So you can see here you have 28,398. So you actually lost some money on the 25,000, but you did put in 10,000 in there. Now the second period before we can copy it down, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be this value. We don't need that initial value anymore. Times 1 plus the interest rate plus this 10,000. And we want to lock this because it's always 10,000. And let me close up the parenthesis. Uh, looks like I missed a parenthesis. Oh, I don't need that parenthesis. I don't need to close that up. Okay, so now it's 44,000. We should be able to copy this down. And we get these different values. 2.656 million at the end of 40 years. And I'm going to make that my first replication. So what I want to do, and this is exactly the same way you do it in Excel. But the second part is different. Now you notice it's a much higher number now because every time we type values in, this number, these numbers change. 
which causes these numbers to change. So, you know, unlike your standard simple problem where you always get a 10% return, it's going to be different. And this is the problem with dealing with uncertainty. So what we'd like to do is do this, this calculation a thousand times or even 10,000 times. And in Excel, we use the what if analysis and we create a data table. Well, they don't have a data table in Google Sheets and it took me a while to figure out how to do this. Um, what you need to use is you need to use an extension called Risk Solver. If you don't happen to have Risk Solver, you can go to Add-ons, Get Add-ons, and then just search and it'll pop up and you can install it. So, so I'm going to go to my extension and I'm going to go to Risk Solver and I'm going to say start and it asks you if you want to add a distribution. You do not want to do that because if you do that, for example, if you pick the normal distribution, you're going to get a standard normal distribution with mean of zero and standard deviation of one. And that's not what we want. We want the mean of this. We don't want some standard normal variable. And it has a bunch of other distributions too. Now, you have to figure out the output range. Now, you have to get rid of this. Okay, if you had it, if, if it's not the correct one, let's get rid of that. Here the output range is C7. And I'm going to say add output range. Okay. And up here, if you want to, there's a um, settings thing and it, how many trials you want to do in your simulation and some of the different calculations we do. We're going to do a Monte Carlo simulation. I'm going to hit this green arrow here and it's going to hopefully run this a thousand times and then give me a mean and, a, and um, standard deviation and some other descriptive statistics. So I'm going to click that here and it gives you a bunch of numbers, a little hard to read here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to some separate cell and I'm going to say copy to sheet. Because once I copy to the sheet then I can um, format the cell. So let me format this here. And I'm going to format this dollar wise. I'm going to get rid of the pennies. don't really need the pennies. And you see we have 5.4 million, almost uh, 5.475 million, with a standard deviation of about three and a half million. And it gives you the mode and the range, and we can format those as well if we'd like. And you can see that the minimum is 672,000, so the, you're very unlucky for the 40 years you're working, you're not going to have very much money for retirement. If you're extremely lucky, you're going to have 34 million and an awfully nice retirement. So how does this measure up to one I did in Excel? Let's see. So here I have this. This is one I did in Excel. It's the same numbers. And you can see that the average is about the same. Okay, 5.7 here, 5.7. 475 here. So looks pretty good. So um, this is the way you do the Monte Carlo simulation using Google Sheets. You have to use that risk solver function. All right. I, there are a lot of people who show you how to do it in Excel using the table function, but it, I couldn't find anybody who explained how to do this in Google Sheets. And it took me a while to figure it out. So I wanted to share that with you. So I hope you found this useful.